All I know is I wake up to somebody pulling a cup off of me. And I open my eyes and I'm just kind of like, what's going on? What are you doing? Welcome back to my channel. Today's video is a story time video and I know y'all loved my last story time. So, you know, I'm about to give y'all another one. <laughs> so today's story time video is inspired, well, was inspired by this meme that I seen on Instagram a couple of days ago. I'm gonna insert the meme right there. But the meme said, um, something along the lines, well, it was a picture of this girl looking like she was on the floor and it looked like she had just woke up or something i don't know but the meme <clears throat> says something along the lines of when you wake up on the floor and you trying to figure out why you're on the floor and you see your phone in his hand y'all that post that meme had brought so back so many memories oh my god um and it really made me laugh because now i can laugh at the situation but before then i couldn't laugh i didn't think it was funny at all i'm gonna just dive in to my little story regarding that situation so a little back information this is not the last ex from the last story time this is the second one I only had two told y'all that already but um this is the second person and I already told this person that I wanted to tell his story I was trying to get him to come and record with me so we could tell it together he could tell his side I could tell my side but he was just like he didn't think the story was funny but I don't know anyway so I'm gonna just jump right into the story I'm not gonna say too too much but I'm gonna give y'all a little bit all right so boom me and this person had got together in 2015 um, when I was in college in Lafayette. I ended up wanting to move like five months after we got together, maybe. Yeah, like five months after we got together. I moved in uh, July, moved in July, late July, early August, I moved. And he ended up moving too, or whatever. And we had lived together the entire time up until I moved into this new apartment, which I moved into this apartment, August 2018. So I don't really like tell y'all too much about too much because this person, my dog. But anyway, so um, we ended up breaking up July 2017 because he had did some stuff. I did some stuff. We all just do some stuff sometime, whatever. It was broken up, but we're still living together. And at the same time, we're broken up. I'm trying to do me. He trying to, I don't know. He trying to work on it, but me, I'm just kind of like, it's over. Like, we just waiting on the lease to be up at this point. Like, that's, that's the kind of attitude I had. And so, with that being said, I ended up talking to this guy started I started talking to this guy that I had you know been having a little crush on while I was trying to talk to him we were trying to build a friendship or whatever yeah so we had started talking and everything was good y'all everything was good I'm not gonna go too much into that because that's another story time so I'm not gonna say too much about that but we was just cool we was really good friends um it was what it was supposed to be. But anyway, so fast forward to December when the incident happened. So I wanna say the, the last two weeks of November were so rocky, like at home, like even though we wasn't together, well, we wasn't together, so we was not talking at all. Like we just walking around the house, not saying nothing to each other. So, from time to time, when I want to have a conversation on the phone, I just used to go sit in the car. So this particular night, I had got off the phone and I went inside. I told the person I was going to take a nap. I was going inside. So I went inside to take a nap and the person was supposed to call me and wake me up to go 
take care of some stuff that I had to go take care of. So the person called y'all, and when a person called, I answered forgetting that he was right there. Like, you know, I don't know if y'all ever like been in a sleep where y'all just like wake up and y'all forget where y'all at. Well, that's the kind of sleep I was in. Like, I had forgot where I was at. I was losing my, my damn mind. Um, so I woke up and when I answered the phone, I answered it on a speakerphone or he was just that loud. I really don't remember which one it was. But when I answered it, the nigga was like, Joy, girl, get up. <laughs> so I'm just like, okay. And then when I realized that, you know, this this dude right here, like, <laughs> I hurry up and I jumped out the bed and I went ran into the living room. So I'm talking to the dude and I was just like, look, I'm gonna call you back. Thank you for waking me up, but I'm gonna call you back. So I hear from the room, who that was and i'm just kind of like baby look we don't go together <laughs> don't ask me who calling my phone you don't pay this phone bill um so like he just was going off going off and i'm just kind of like look i don't have time for this so i got my put my shoes on and i left so he used to work like four o'clock in the morning and at this point i think it was like one it had to be like one o'clock one two o'clock i don't know it was kind of close to the time that he had to go to work so what i did was I left until it was time for him to go to work. And I came back when I knew he was at work. So I'm thinking everything all good. Everything, you know, in the clear, you know. <laughs> That's what I thought. <laughs> so I'm thinking everything all good. So I go home and I go to sleep. Y'all, I'm in the deepest sleep. Sleeping so good, probably slobbing, y'all. Probably slobbing. All I know is I wake up to somebody pulling the cup off and I open my eyes and I'm just kind of like what's going on what are you doing this nigga was standing over me so I'm like why you pull the cup off of me and he asked me who the person was and I was just like look we don't go together I don't have to answer your questions what the fuck so um I didn't answer his questions he kept asking questions y'all and I just was sitting there looking at him because, like, baby, baby boy, why are you talking to me right now? Like, go back to work. Aren't you supposed to be at work? So, y'all, we going back and forth, fussing back and forth. And next thing I know, <laughs> picks up the bed with his bare hands, pick it up, and flip it. All I know is, all I could think about is me going out the window, y'all. I saw the girl in my head. I went up. And I went back down. I just was like, just stunned. Y'all was stunned. And if I can find the little video, I recorded myself on the floor. If I can find the little video, I'll insert it in in this video. But um, y'all, he flipped the bed, and I really hit the floor. And like, I was in between this the headboard and the mattress. This this the headboard. This me. And the mattress. The mattress was on top of me, but the little hard part of the mattress, like you know, this is a mattress and a little hard part that the mattress go on top that was like kind of close to the window like on the window ledge but the hair boy my head my hair here the hair boy like this kind of like that because the hair boy wasn't attached to the bed for whatever reason and the mattress sitting on top of me and all i could do y'all is just lay down i just laid down i laid down and i just cried <laughs> I cried, I cried, I cried, I cried because I was so shocked that that had happened. Like I had, he had never like did something like that. But I understood where he was coming from. But at the same time, baby, don't do that. Don't do that. So y'all, I just, y'all, I'm thinking he about to try to help me up. Baby, he left and went back to work. <laughs> he left and went back to work and believe, please believe that Baby, I got my stuff. I got my stuff. And I went to slap on my mama because I was like, you got me bent. You ain't about to be flipping no beds around here. And I stay. Oh, no. I left the bed how, I, how he had it because I was just like, I ain't know what I want to call the police or what. Like, I don't know. It was a really, really crazy situation. But, I mean, I guess we all do some crazy things sometimes in life. But that's no excuse. You know. 
never take no bull from no man. You feel me? I don't care what you done done. Don't, don't, don't take no bull from no man. So like I said, that's my dog. We still cool to this day. Um, you know, we gonna always be cool. I need some, he running. He needs some, it's the same thing. But, you know, we just decided not to live together anymore. And, you know, if we're gonna work it out, we're gonna work it out apart. But that was my story time about the time I ended up on the floor with the meme that I was laughing at on Instagram the other day. But yeah, I hope y'all got a kiki out of this because it wasn't funny. I promise you it wasn't funny when it happened. But now looking back at it, y'all, I could laugh at it. But before I couldn't laugh at it, it wasn't funny before. <laughs> but now it is hilarious because baby, we, <sighs> me, I go through some stuff. I have so many stories I can tell y'all, but I ain't gonna put too much of my business on the table, you know, cause I'm a private person. But yeah, y'all, I hope y'all enjoyed this story. And don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, thumb it up, and hit that subscribe button down there in the red, well, the notification bell right next to the subscribe button to be notified first on new videos. You feel me? Leave a comment and let me know if you ever had a moment like that. If you ever ended up on a flu, <laughs> let me know. That's the end of this video. And I'ma see y'all in the next video. What? Video. What? Now you all the way back up in the bit, dog. I turn lemons into lemonade, simple, dog.